How you going, Taurus? I have your uh, quick daily read for today. I hope you're happy and healthy. Um, we're going to get straight into it. I um, channeled some messages before your uh, message today. So um, they are, you are, planting, um, you are planting new seeds and you're willing to learn how to grow them. And that's beautiful, yeah? And that you are grateful for the abundance that surrounds you. And that, that's absolutely beautiful. But we'll see how they tie into the reading. Yeah, you're healing at the present moment. You've gone through stuff in your life. You're ending out all the crap, yeah, all the bad things, you know, so you can have your rebirth and be the best version of you. And that's beautiful because the death card there shows, for starters, that you're protecting your heart and, and that's the transformation in itself. But it shows like, here you go, you're the phoenix that's rising from its ashes because there's the, there's the nest of the phoenix. That's what that card is. She's in the nest ready to re-rise from those ashes after getting her heart broken from the three of swords to the four of swords. Yeah, And that's why she's protecting the heart there. But it shows you've come through a lot of stuff, you know. And planting those new seeds for the future and how to grow them because that's growth in itself is by being the best version of yourself because this is a butterfly card if that makes sense because the transformation is to go into the cocoon and you come back out as a butterfly and that's beautiful and you should be grateful for that abundance and that that all that surrounds you and the and the beauty of that death and rebirth card because it brings you towards the best version of yourself and and, and having that beautiful unapologetic version of yourself okay and ex especially cycling through the transitions of life yeah and you're excited you're celebrated very grateful for that surrounding because they're all surrounded but it's also in that card there they were looking up that the i'll find it again and then i'll shuffle the cards properly but I'll, what they are because it's it's very abundant for this reading <laughs> i don't think so spirit <laughs> yeah um in itself it's like you're excited and you're abundant for everything that's happened in the present moment and that's beautiful okay so here's the card here i'll shuffle them straight up straight afterwards but i want to talk about this card for a second this is grateful this is somebody celebrating life and, and that's what the three car three cups are you know especially from coming through the three of swords from breaking that heart and then going into the four of swords to heal that heart of course you'll be excited about the transformation and the celebration of life but see what they're doing there they're all they're all grounded yeah, the Tris girl on the back, girl's back there, you won't be able to see because I haven't set the cameras up properly yet to get it all done right, but she's got a Tris girl on her back, which is the laws of threes, and that's what that is, a three, 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 so that might be a number for yourself. But they're all sitting there looking up at the star constellation of the six sisters in the Pleiadian uh, star constellation, if that makes sense, about 100 million light years from here, but the best part about that, they're looking up at Taurus. That's Taurus. That's the star size, uh, constellation Taurus, and that's what that is. It's the six uh, daughters of, of Atlas, okay, that um, have uh, risen to the stars. And that's beautiful because they're sitting there looking up and they're very vibrant. I'm shuffling the cards, see? Very vibrant of it. And they also, that sort of comes into planting those seeds for the future because they're all well grounded. And that's what a seed is. It needs to be well grounded. And that sort of comes into the start there. And they're all happy, which shows you're grateful for that rebirth and that transition to be that belief in who you are and have that newfound awareness, like the symbolic death. Yeah, to give the happy um, initiation process of that new future. And, and you're on the cusp of a massive transformation. It's like the best way to say it. it's it's time to mourn, I suppose, the end of, end of one phase while celebrating the birth of another. And that's beautiful because it shows that you are planting those seeds for the, the future. And that rebirth signals a beautiful metamorphosis. Okay, And that's beautiful. That will allow you to expand your consciousness and move closer to your own divine essence. Okay, Like being in the right place at the right time. But like a sense of speeding up as you move towards your dream and a reminder that you, that time is on your side i suppose but it's also a chance for your to cycle through your life and a relationship a belief a career path an outdated plan for the future and and it's it's becoming an to an inevitable end because that's what it is a symbolic death which gives you the chance to deep breathe in the if it scares you it's okay because that's what it, what it is it's a sweet light of of being in the right place but moving towards that dream and having that beautiful expansion of who you are as a soul and bringing that elements of magic into your life as a manifestors of our own life and beautifully welcoming the possibilities of something new and allowing that phase to come to graceful an end okay because something's ended there in itself but looking forward to the magic of the newfound horizons you know that newfound beautiful elemental self of, of, of looking towards magic and and being underneath its morbid exterior of the death card like heralds like i suppose the best way to say it the reflection 
I suppose, but it gives you the time to be filled with the brightness of so much potential as the light awaits. See the light in the reflection? Because you're reflecting it back into the universe. And getting past that fear of change and that fear of trying something new and stepping into your beautiful elemental self and letting go of what, what you believe to be beautiful so you can bring in something absolutely amazing into your life and even write down the list of accomplishments and allow yourself to be praised in, in yourself okay and and have that deep pride in yourself and deserving that attention because you do deserve it see the abundance in the background even though she's cups and she's a queen there male or female is irrelevant see the boundaries in place it's like you have a final push but that's a card of victories because she's come through the war if that makes sense because she's the wounded warrior and now she's guarding her heart and self because you were guarding your heart in the last underlining energies you see in the background there there's a pentacle right all the way around there shows that right behind you is spirit for starters but the pentacle is the abundance of you in your rebirth in your transformation in your putting boundaries in place and nine to the nine shows completions again this re reading screaming that genuine experience of excitement in, in your life okay in order to walk towards your cup of cup cup of the abundance okay and that cup of love is you and that's the best best thing about the big deal of life and focusing on what you did in order to attain that beautiful ele elemental self, I suppose, and finding your own vibe and your own beat to effortlessly attract what you want in your life by your inner light. And you can see that in the reflection that she's got there. Yeah, we've got two queens in a row here, yeah? We've got somebody sitting solid in their foundations because she did have boundaries in the last card. Okay, she's sitting on a solid foundation. So you may have your head thinking logically with your head over your heart at the present moment, okay, because of people maybe not so much rejecting you, but regretting and, and things like that. But this is somebody from the past. You may be, um, you're daydreaming at the present moment. She is sitting there thinking and pondering her thoughts. So is she at the present moment, but it's more of a card of regret in some sort of ways and rejection. So so maybe somebody's regretted or rejection, regrets re um, rejecting you, okay, but you are planting those seeds, okay, because there is a seed there of growth in itself, but it shows that you are the growth, okay, so sit on your solid foundation, you're beautiful, we've just got three queens in a row, you're beautiful, yeah, three queens, yeah, male or female is irrelevant, you are the social butterfly, because like, look at that, the first card that come out is the butterfly, which is the rebirth and rebirth of the coo going going into the coon and coming back out as the butterfly, look in her hand there, it shows that you are the light, and you're finding your own vibe, because that's what she is, she's high vibes, she's confident, she's beautiful, out of all the queens, yeah, the queen of cups is love, and the queen of swords is logic, but this one's beautiful, she's beautiful, you're attractive, you're smart, you're intelligent, and that's beautiful, you know, you and, and having that noise of external validation and listening to your own heart, okay, and planting those seeds for the future is how you grow them, and knowing that you're growing that abundance that surrounds you, because in the first messages that I received, remember, I'm planting new seeds and I'm, and I'm willing to um, learn how to grow them, yes, okay, which is the ace of pentacles in theory, Okay, but it's also I'm grateful for the abundance that surrounds me. And look, the abundance of that pentacle right there surrounding her, even though it's in a even though it's in a cups there, it shows that you're logically thinking wisely and you're learning in life, which is beautiful. Yeah, it's while you daydream, maybe somebody's learning something about you and regretting the things that they've done to you in the past. Yeah, because they stabbed you in the back, they hurt you. You know, but you've released those burdens because you've come from a mountain. See, all the light lit the way up so you could release those burdens. It's a final push for you right now. A final push on your journey because you're just getting balance, that little bit of balance there, you know? And that's validation in itself, okay? You've had a lot of deception in your life, a lot of trickery, a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, a lot of fighting, a lot of everybody reaching for that light, but you'll get it, yeah? A lot of sadness. That's a lot of cards that just come out in a row there. That's a lot in itself. That's a hell of a lot, but in the end, you did the right thing. You co-create with the divine because that's somebody who gives and receives. And it gives you the chance to look towards that positive magic of the newfound horizons, like I was saying before, and attract beautiful things into the future that, that are for you and, 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 and that time to be courageous and stand up to fear and be sacred and get that sacred win as you learn towards who you are as a soul. Yeah, beautiful. Sitting solid on that ground. They all are. Spirit's pulling you towards something at the present moment. You can see that the connection with you and spirit is beautiful, but it's pulling you towards hope. It's pulling you towards making a wish and, and getting that wish too, because that's making your wish. Wish upon a star, okay? And that's beautiful because they both have that level of ascension. That's a light bulb moment for somebody, what I'm saying there, because it's right above there as you sit on your solid foundation and you sit logically in your, your thoughts and your processes. But spirit's pulling you. And see, the, see, the, see the strings at the start there with spirit pulling you? And it's your connection that is beautiful to the spirit. And that is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing, okay? 
could protect your energy. You protect your energy, yeah? Protect your smile. You have something coming in in the background that may be around love because he's diplomacy of love and I do have a king to a queen of cups here as well. But you're thinking logically at the present moment. So maybe you're not worried about that sort of stuff because he's got the high vibes and the bowl as he sits in that emotion, which shows the emotion of you being in your protective bubble. See, she's in her protective bubble. It's also a fortune bubble. See, it's like a fortune telling um, globe like there. So it shows that you trust in your faith, the spirit to pull you and you trust in that. And that's beautiful. And you know that spirit will protect you. And that's absolutely beautiful. Protect you from all of those strings, all of those things that came out before of the, the sadness and the... And the, and the hollow victories and the teasing and the fighting and the gossip and the, the being trapped in the mind, literally. They can't, they, can't ref, they can't even look at what they did, by the way. That, that card that was out there before, that rejection, they can't even look at it. They never will be able to look at it because that's their ego. And unfortunately, they can fucking turn a blind eye as much as they want, but they'll never see the blessing because the blessing was you, see? And it shows that as the underlining energy. So I've got a king to a queen of cups here. So it shows when you're in your rebirth that that transition here that you are coming into yourself and you are planting those seeds for that future and you should be grateful of, for the abundance that surrounds you and we've got a king to a queen of cups here both kings okay so it's like a continuation as we take the deck split the deck see what it comes out yeah justice balance yeah balance in itself natural law natural karma natural beauty and that's beautiful okay spirit we are going straight into that death and rebirth card, but it's a continuation of protecting that energy and protecting that smile. There is something coming in, so you do have something to smile about. So that's the gratefulness in itself. But it shows you as the sweet light. Ready to take the dream for uh, <laughs> take the dream for what it's worth, okay? You learnt from the trials and tribulations, okay? And that's your rebirth, okay? So you can literally level up to be the best version of yourself. And that's absolutely beautiful, okay? And have that possibility and that bridge between worlds and that connection, because it's right here is that connection, that bridge between worlds, and being that higher consciousness and learning, because that's what she is here, she's consciousness in herself, because there's just solar plexus in itself. And it shows that beautiful things are coming in for you because of the fact that you've learned the lesson. See, the card that was here, remember we pulled this card? Yeah, and the card that was underlying energies? So it shows that you learned the le that was the same card that was under that card. It shows that you learned the lessons and trolls and tribulations, okay? And this is the continuation on that top reading because you can see they broke your heart, man. And you were able to give that sort of truth in order to have your re reformation and transformation because you are the star, see? Your connection is beautiful. They didn't realize who they were leaving out in the cold, but you get to grow in life, and that's beautiful, see? They didn't realize it with all the conflict and shit they brought into your life and all the sadness that's coming straight out in a new deck of all that manipulation tactics they did to you, yeah? But you got to level up. In some sort of way, you're leveling up. Maybe you've got a new something coming or something on the horizon because you can see in the background, he's got a ship on the horizon too right there. So it shows something coming in, okay? And all the I just split the deck. It's come straight out with all the same cards we just pulled from that last deck. You don't believe me, go back. Have a look. You're beating to your own drum and it's beautiful, okay? Because you are the star. Continue being yourself. Continue being unapologetically you and your unique e intelligence and your unique essence. And Ooh, same card. Just flicked a thousand times over. Same card here. And protect your energy. Protect your dream. Protect who you are. Protect your hopes. Protect the things that you want in life. You're healing at the moment from something that was horrible because that's your transformation. Yeah, but she's come straight back out again. She is beautiful. You are beautiful. She's the beautiful queen. Regardless, male or female is irrelevant in my readings. It shows that you're beautiful. That's it. She's beautiful. I'm talking to somebody who is gorgeous in their heart, their soul, their integrity, their morals, their love, their pentacles, their abundance. See that pat there? It shows that you're ready to pounce when you'll be ready, yeah? Because you're making a wish at the present moment because that goes straight under the wish card. So protect your wishes. Protect them. Spirit's bringing them in for you. Protect them, okay? That's a good omen, that cat there. Everybody used to say black cats are bad things, but they're not. They're good omens in themselves, yeah? You walked away because you walked away from people juggling, juggling you. But it's like I said, this one's got a ship coming in the background too. The people that juggled you, I think they're about to regret in a big way because you're about to walk towards something beautiful. Walk towards, yeah, your strength, your courage. See that there? The strength card? She's got her hand in the, in the mouth, the lion's mouth. That is complete faith in the universe. Complete faith in your manifestations because she's got a crown chakra up the top there. Complete faith in who you are as a soul. This has only leveled you up. Whatever that was, was it a shit foundation? That tower is a shit foundation. That's downloads. It's shocking. It's an upheaval. It's spirit pulling you because that's the card that we're taking in theory for, that, for this card here. Spirit pulling you away from that stuff, okay? Because it wasn't on a solid foundation. So you can beat to your own drum. 
literally can't speak for themselves. It's not on a solid foundation. That's the truth. That's why they come for upheavals. It's sitting on the edge of a cliff, on the edge of a rocky mountain. You know, it's supposed to come down. It's inevitable. It was coming down. It was, it's irrelevant. So Spirit's saying, be unapologetically you and be the beautiful soul that you are. And be the sunflower in the background there. See that sunflower? That sunflower is a beautiful omen. It's a beautiful thing. It shows that you are the sunlight. And that's, and that's beautiful, okay? And, and, and cycle up through that beauty in itself, okay? So protect yourself at the present moment, okay? Because we do have a seven to a seven of you being beautiful in tower moments, okay? Spirit protecting that in itself, but protect yourself from any deception at the present moment. You have the world in front of yourself, okay? There's something coming in. There's something coming in. Beat your own drum. All I did was split the deck again. Beat your own drum. Yeah, because you walked away from something and that's fair, okay? It's fair. You've got a ten of cups coming in in some sort of way. Watch yourself for any deception at the present moment, okay? Because you've learnt your lessons, and that's beautiful, okay? Watch yourself from anybody that stabbed you in the back, caused horrible things in your life. You've seen all those cards that came out from multiple decks, and it sums up to this one card of being completely and utterly stabbed in the back through painful crisis after painful crisis after painful crisis from lovers and family and friends who deceived you in life and all those tower moments and we seen it was horrible. It was sadness and hollow victories and teasing, fighting, competition, chit chat, crap that doesn't need to be there. You know, manipulation and, and conceited people and uh, people who show off their intelligence and can't see the in rigidness or, of their own, own thinking, their tendencies to over control of manipulation tactics of that devil in order to understand that, you know, you're a beautiful soul and you deserve everything. And sometimes their, their sharp communication, didn't they didn't see it in their words because they weren't wise enough to and they won't see it because that rejection come out. They will always be that way. And unfortunately, that's, that's theirs because they needed to grow within themselves. They weren't smart enough like you to learn from trials and tribulations, put an ending out to it so you could heal and have that rebirth in itself. But it's like, a, a deception in itself is not a good card. You don't want to be with that. It's ten, 10 of swords there. With that death and rebirth card, it shows that you're on that bridge of consciousness in order to believe that your limitations are coming in and, and that you're not settling for less and you're not going to settle for less. Now with that page of pentacle, I've got three hope cards here. You have hope in some sort of way. Spirit is pulling you in the same direction. The same card's right here. It's the same card's here. Okay, you're learning at the present moment in life, so Spirit says protect it, but the same cards that just come out, it's the same cards just there. Spirit pulling in that direction, and the hope card of wishes, and wishes granted in itself, okay? So continue to be yourself. Spirit pulled you out of a towel moment for a specific reason, because you were sad, and that's horrible. Sad, it's the same cards coming out again, man. Lovely, absolutely lovely. You are so strong to have gone through this, because that's ostracizing. You have love coming in, okay? Because the ships are coming in. Okay, and it's giving and receiving love, so you don't have to worry about all that crap of that tower moment in itself, okay? And you don't have to be extremely wise and logical in that sort of situation because it's somebody who's beautiful and on the same journey as you, see? And they're healed too, so it shows it with the Queen of Cups up there. It shows that somebody's healed too, so you're able to walk into that higher consciousness together um, and have the beautiful things in your life. There's that change and transformation card at the start there shows the evolution on the edge, as she's on the edge here of something new. And it brings it there with that going in from the hope to the hope, the star to the star. Uh, but you need to protect your energy at the present moment around any deceitful people or deceitful tactics, deceitful things, okay? And that's the truth. And you should be grateful for your abundance that's around you and planting those new, new seeds for the future and having that beauty and inner beauty of, because that's what that says, beauty and inner beauty, okay? Beauty and inner beauty of who you are and, and, and trusting in that death and rebirth that starts it off with the breakthrough that's coming through for you so you could literally be that best unapologetic version of yourself and know that you deserve everything in life and the focus on depleting more energy than is replenishing in those relationships because that's why they tower come down, isn't it? And it's focusing on the, the, the materialistic over the holy spiritualistic, I suppose the best way to say And you We live in a world of extreme passions and heated hustles. So it's like spirit saying like slow down and, and the desire for excess is, is in one, in any area of your life, maybe harder than you think. So spirit saying, or oh, the card just spit itself out is the 10 of cups, but it's this card here. You've got the 10 of cups coming, some some sort of beautiful connection, some, some sort of way, because the same card that come out here around the hope here is the same card of the trials and tribulations in life right there, right? back to front to me but 
Boots. Yeah, those two cards there, yeah? And there's hope around it. There's hope around it because you learnt from the trials and tribulations. You've got a star coming in because now I'll take these cards, two cards, because it says underneath the star, you have a journey towards your 10 of cups, okay? And you should protect your energy and put your boundaries in place, okay? Because you've learnt your lessons and trials and tribulations because you are beautiful. And the, the, ooh, the manipulation tactics of lovers with manipulation you've released. See these three cards in a row here? Manipulation from any type of lover. All right, that's been released at the present moment. Give me a second because the hangman in itself is released, okay? Yes, okay, and then the Knight of Cups is is that understanding of any type of fuck people, if that makes sense. It's, you know, it can be missing the solace, but it's protecting one's heart. It's being open to love. It, you can, you can have been with a, a moody partner or somebody you sulked, okay? Because there's a manipulation of that and negative emotions that blocked your progress so you couldn't grow into who you are. Maybe a jealous partner, maybe a player, you know, things like that, okay? Because those cards scream it. They go back in the deck. Underneath the deck, I've got you hermiting from that and it shut you down in some sort of way, okay? But you know your abundance and so you could grow. You knew you were divinely guided and that's beautiful, okay? Because you put the same card up there so you could have your transformation. And that's you releasing that. Releasing. So you're releasing any sacrifice they want you to be because there's a manipulation there in the tactics of greed and and and. Uh, and manipulation in so many ways it's not funny and having that devil energy is disgusting especially around you because it makes you feel that you're not worthy of the beautiful things in your life okay and you, you know they may have been comparing a lot of comparing comparing in that relationship there might have been continual attempts to jump to the next hot thing i suppose is the best way to say because that explains that there and, and you know that maybe you've been dealing with somebody who never seen things through Okay, and a lot of illusion, a lot of delusion, that's all I'm saying, okay, in itself, but it gave you the chance to know who you are and plant the seeds for your future. You've been surrounded by hope. The divine angels are with you thoroughly, 100%. The tower moment had to come down for a reason, and there was too much deception there. This reading's almost finished. So you could have excitement, man, excitement, and release any fear, and release the illusion, because that goes straight under the illusion card, so you could have your success, by the way, and have your joy of the sun, the sunflower, remember I was talking about the sunflower here, and, and have your joy and happiness, because she's confidence, but see the sunflower, there's the sun, it's come out, so you can have that joy, split the deck one last time, yeah, and unapologetically beat to your drum, thank you, spirit. <laughs> Uh, but you are the star, okay? See the star? The wishes you make, they're above you. It's, it's beautiful right now. It's in your crown chakra. It's what you deserve in life, okay? That's your success. The 2200 on the clock there. It shows there's a lot of uh, enthusiasm, uh, infectious energy, I suppose is the best way to say it. Because the star to the queen of wands to that shows that you are enthusiastic and confident in your dreams and your hopes and manifesting your future in with your transition. And three hopes cards there shows that thoroughly, that you are beautiful in your soul and you deserve everything okay the tower moment brings those situations because of lack of preparedness loss of control situations of belief that shake the foundations to the core it's unexpected it's upheaval it's disarray it's working with sudden change but it's the lessons through those unexpected sources that give you the light and love through difficult times so you can be your true beautiful self and being a light worker in places where it's needed the most okay and then with that star card there it shows that you are the spark of inspiration because that's literally what that is and that's with the queen of wands together and the, the star above it the spark of inspiration enthusiasm look so it shows it there and thoroughly how you walk towards yourself with pure pure bliss the best way to say it okay and you're releasing any fear and you're releasing any illusions because that goes to the tower see because spirit helped you guide you through it and that's why Spirit's saying protect that energy with two, two protection energy cards at the present moment. Spirit guides you out of that tower situation because there was deception, okay? Because the seven to the seven shows personal growth, but it shows deception from that personal growth so you could have the victory in life. And now you have joy coming in because of the fact that you have the world in front of you. You are the abundance there. And you've got the, the card coming here from that. And what's coming in in the background is a universal gift. See the three cope cards? Look at them all there. There's all the stars that you wished upon in order to grab them. As you come through that circus there, your finish line. So you can celebrate your life and, and dream and manifest into your reality of whatever you want, okay? And you work very, very hard on that. So that's why Spirit's bringing it in. You are the abundance. You can see you are the abundance there in that relationship. And you are the abundance in life now as we've got the alpha to the omega of abundance. So it shows that you've learned those lessons with good communication coming in with fantasies and thoughts and processes spirits just saying and this is clarity what i'm going to say because here's the clarity card underneath it 
is to put your boundaries in place. Know that you are the authority in your life. You are the control, okay? And literally straight under that is boundaries, okay? And then straight under that is the justice card, okay? And we put that in because we don't want to be, have our hearts broken and we want to walk towards our divine legacy with the divine card straight under that, okay? And we don't want to be trapped in our mind anymore. We want to be have the beautiful life that we deserve and that's right there in your beautiful inner beauty. That's what that card is, it's inner beauty, okay? You're a beautiful soul, I'm going to finish this reading up now, okay? Okay, there's, we, at the start of the reading I got, um, which was you're planting the seeds, planting the seeds and, and willing to grow them, yeah? So it shows you're growing you or yourself, which is the seed, because it starts with the death and rebirth card. So it shows you are the transformation in the world that's needed, and you are grateful in abundance for everything that surrounds it, which is why you're protecting so hard, protecting so hard from all the things that you've learned in life, okay? And that's beautiful. So from the death to the rebirth card, it shows that you are the abundance in your heart. And it's beautiful because that's a cups with an abundance in the background. And it shows you sitting solidly within your morals and your integrity to think logically with your head over your heart. Because I've got Queen of Swords to the Page of Swords, which shows somebody who is thinking logically with light bulb moments. Boom, boom. Yeah. Epiphany after epiphany. You make a wish upon a star because you release the trauma in order to allow spirit towards pull you towards out of that tower but pull you towards you as a soul you have something coming in in the background with that top row there and that you might not be able to see because it's got a back turn towards it because you're too busy high vibing you've learned the page of pentacles here learning the trials and tribulations in order to heal those traumas so you don't take them into the next situation whatever that situation is because we now have the star again which is that hope and that waking that wish so whatever the wish is but you're protecting that wish because i have the seven of seven of wands surrounding the whole reading and of course you'd be protecting the ones because you are socially beautiful you're the social beautiful butterfly you're the butterfly in that card up the start there whatever situation that tower brought there was deception and illusion because it's surrounded with illusion and it's surrounded with deception yeah but you're enthusiastic about life okay because of the fact is you've got the world in front of you with the with the abundance under that is that a whole middle row is about you having the world in front of yourself as you step towards the first card that come out in that third row which is the star that's why i use three different decks with only seven cards out of each deck and so when i make the story and put the message across it's there 26 26 on the clock 8 8 which is manifestation you're a king manifesto okay so you can walk towards your hope and step and in faith and have your new direction go beautifully towards your ten of cups because that's what she's walking towards is Walking directly to that Ten of Cups, okay? It shows in that card there of the sun there, it's exactly the same. Yeah, it's funny how it, different cards, eh? But you've learned your lessons and trolls and tribulations because it's surrounded in your healing. So you should be enthusiastic about your life, about releasing anything that was illusions. The moon highlights things we can't see, okay? And that's the best part about it. You may not have even seen the tower moment coming, but everything levels us up so you can have that success. And that success from the from the social butterfly of that transformation, it is your success and your divine right to have that. And you will be sun, you will be shining like that sunlight that is in this card here of the sun. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. You have beautiful things coming in on the horizon. I want you to make a wish and continue to protect your wish, protect your heart, and spirit is with you at all times, one hundred percent. I want you to know you are the spark of inspiration. You are the divine invent, in, in, invent intervention, I suppose, of your finding that calling, okay, that makes you happy and finding that beautiful balance of life in order to have the beautiful manifestation. Have a lovely, beautiful day. God bless and please have, be as beautiful as your lovely, beautiful heart and take care.